Now, with this next term, uh, while some schools call it one thing, other schools call it another. HMI calls this the intellectual. Other schools call it uh, things like the analytical, usually because they're trying to analyze every single thing you're doing. And um, these groups are, if you look at the suggestibility thing that HMI has, you're looking at people that are 80% emo and higher as far as suggestibility. You know, that's, uh, the, that's the number that, that, they came, that they came up with. And the fact is, is you're not really going to see that many of these people. I've met one person, and once he said, well, once, well he used the term analytical. And, I, and my brain just said, oh, that means he's probably an intellectual. And I dropped him almost as fast as I, as I dropped the synambulist, simply because I knew that information. And these are the people who, while no matter what, you are hypnotizing, I mean, you're really hypnotizing yourself. Um, these people really have to think that they're hypnotizing themselves. Or you have to go out with a complete confusion induction. And it, it no matter what, it works well, it provided you are aware of what you're about to get into. Usually, a nice good confusion induction, they'll, they'll uh, drop them pretty fast. Uh, the percentage wise of the intellectuals I think is only just a few percent I haven't really run into that many in uh, my time in practice I've run into them outside of um, my practice like I've met other hypnotists that are like that but um, apparently they're really they're supposed to be pre they're supposed to be pretty rare and yeah, I wouldn't really worry about it too much, but that is a term that some people should um, know simply so they know what to happen, what to do when this happens.